Welcome back to News Across Nigeria, where we furnish you with information on what's happening now across Nigeria. Now, in Kogi State, Governor Yahaya Bello has reiterated his commitment to propelling the North Central State towards industrialization by making maximum use of its natural resources. He gave the assurance at a meeting in Lokoja, the state capital, with members of Global Infrastructure Holdings Limited, a technical team collaborating with the state to resuscitate the National Iron Ore Mining Company. The arrival of the state governor signaled the commencement of the meeting with the new management team of the Iron Ore Mining Company and other interested parties in the mining industry. Great pleasure that we've come here. The Hall Mining Company's sole administrator is confident that this partnership will see the steady increase of the firm's capacity. The capacity of Nyamko is 2.15 million tons per, per annum. We are going to be deeply involved in rehabilitation, upgrading, and the modernization of the plant. Once those issues are completed, we should carry the plant to 5 million tons per annum. The leader of the technical partners is optimistic that all the mineral resources in the state can be annexed and developed. He is also certain that the venture will create a boom in employment for residents. You have the resources, we have the technology. Together we can make a world-beating product. And our company's motto is very simple is adding value and profitability. Governor Yaya Bello assures all present of his full support, but urges stakeholders to work with responsibility towards members of the community. I advise that you take your corporate social responsibilities to the communities very seriously. Aside from being major stakeholder, they are also strategic value adding partners. In the meantime, the government is planning to have support awareness programs to ensure the cooperation of host communities while it encourages partners to exhibit a high sense of professionalism. Proceedings were stalled today in the case bordering on allegations of conspiracy and fraud preferred against Dr. Uche Oga, who is the main challenger in the PDP primaries which produced the governorship candidates for the April 2015 elections in Abia State. On the 16th of June, the police had arraigned him alongside an oil firm, Masters Energy Oil and Gas Limited, a bank and an ex-employee of the bank, Deji Shomoye, before a magistrate court sitting in the Tinungu area of Lagos State. Chief Magistrate Kikelo Mwayeye was said to be unavailable today, and even though parties turned up in court, the matter could not go on. Parties, however, agreed to come back before the court on the 10th of October. In a three-count charge put before it, the police say Dr. Oga allegedly forged a memorandum of understanding between Masters Energy Oil and Gas Limited and Muthas Petroleum Limited sometime in March 2011. The menace of erosion and the devastating consequences has continued to draw reactions from residents of communities in Nigeria so affected, especially in the southeast. The latest is coming from Imo State, where representatives of the people and the mother of China Zarum, a 17-year-old girl killed by flood waters about a week ago, are calling on the federal government to come to the aid of the residents of the affected village and other erosion-prone communities. The residents of the Anwa Bonwas in Obinocha village, Nkwere local government area of Imo State, has continued to witness a beehive of activities following the tragedy that struck the community. A heavy downpour that lasted for over six hours last weekend resulted in heavy flooding, which took with it, as usual, a large portion of the earth, and tragically, Shinazaram Anwa Bonwa, a 17-year-old girl who was returning from a domestic errand. Her mother, Mrs. Charity Anabunwa, continues to receive sympathizers, including traditional leaders in the community and a federal lawmaker. She went with her schoolmates. They went to Amuju to buy some gift that they will give to their senior. The girl she went out with 
came here and said that flood carried her. Obi Chijoke Okwara laments the unending devastation his people suffer from the natural disaster and calls for help from the highest authorities. Let the life lost of this girl be a mark, be a very fundamental reason. The federal government should take erosion menace in this country very serious. Particularly, I repeat, particularly in the southeastern zone. A member representing Iso Nkwere Njava and Uangele Federal Constituency at the National Assembly, Mr. Jones Onyerere, says it will again bring the attention of the legislature and the executive to the problem for more concrete actions to be taken. Here we have a, an opportunity uh, that to have a president who is willing to make do all his promises. And I think this is an ample opportunity for him to also show that indeed that he is a president whom we believe in. So we have called his attention to this erosion menace and we believe that he will get it all done. If those words uh, matched with prompt actions, the Nigerian Erosion and Watershed Management Team currently controlling gully erosion sites in the southeast may have to move into Obinocha village soon and hopefully the lives of other young stars and future leaders like Chinazaram will be saved from such disasters. And from the southeast is where we'll call it a day from, for this edition of News Across Nigeria. Thank you for watching. I'm Bulumide Mukoli.